Hey guys, I'm Janet of Occasion, and today we're starting a brand new Immortal Empires campaign. Because I haven't played Total War in a while, I think that's what's got me down lately. If, if you guys watched the uh, Demon Hunters playthrough recently, you'll know I've not been well lately. I'm just generally quite bad at winter. I just The winter always just pushes me into a puddle and, and laughs at me, and um, tells the girl I like that I'm stupid. You know, it's just, winter hates me. It always has. But, um, do you know what loves me? Total War loves me. Yeah, Total War's always been really nice to me, so we're going to play Total War for a bit. Um, so I'm not going to do the double size first episode, we're just going to do the 45 minute one. This is going to be a nice chill campaign, because it's an off season, there's been no new DLC recently or anything. Um, so, you know, it'll just be you regulars watching this, I'm sure. So we're just going to have like a nice chill experience. Um, it should be fun. In fact, it's going to be really chill, because... We're going to be over in Cathay. I have not explored Cathay yet on the Immortal Empires map. I have not done a campaign over here. Most of the, like, Total War I play is on this channel. Because I, I like to be a little bit blind, and I just have enough experience with the game generally that it's not like I get tripped over by, you know, stuff a whole lot. And, uh, you know, I play on an immersive... Um, difficulty setting. I just play hard, hard. It's the most immersive to me. It's it's the one where you can just make armies that are very thematic and whatever. So I'm not I'm not fussed about playing blind. In fact, I think it makes for a better campaign, and that's what we're doing. So I really want to explore this area. I think Loki would be a really interesting one um, to do it with. You know, invading Cathay. Uh, we have reason to actually conquer everything. If we're playing as Cathay, then we make friends with half of Cathay, and we don't explore that bit, right? So this works out well. Um, but also, we are turning off endgame scenarios, because this will literally never do anything. We won't see any of this. Except maybe... Maybe the Vampiric Ascension? Possibly? Uh, the biggest war? I don't know if the Greenskins in Cathay are a part of that or not. But I guess they could be. But I, I don't think any of these affect Cathay. Uh, I don't think so. So we're just going to turn it off because it's just going to make the load times take forever, you know, turn times later on. We may as well just get rid of it. Uh, we're probably just going to play the short campaign victory and um, then go beyond that to just take Cathay. You know, we're going to make our own objectives. It'll be a nice short campaign. We're just going to have some fun. So, uh, yeah, Loki of Felhar. Really fun. Corsairs, great. So he has a um, sacrifice to Anathrema which will improve Corsairs and Charybdis units. He gets extra income from slaves, and every uh, owned major port allows the recruitment of a Black Ark, so you get far more Black Arcs to support, which is nice. And hopefully on this map, we will be able to sail down a lot of these rivers to get, like, really good sort of bombard support in a load of the battles. So hopefully, hopefully they'll work out, and that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, also, Lord Effects, 50% upkeep reduction for Corsairs, which is brilliant, because... I mean, Corsairs are really good, especially with all these buffs and things. Uh, Corsairs also cause fear, another reason why they're a little bit better. And he's immune to High Seas Reef and Storm Attrition for his army, so he can go sailing off if we uh, if we decide that Cathay's boring. Brilliant. Let's do it. Every skull that decorates this deck adds to my legend. Why should I not take yours? <laughs> Decorates this what? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, how they play. Blessed Dread. Occupy major ports to increase the number of black arcs. Yep. Form sacrifice Anathrema to improve you. Yep, fine. Capture slaves. Yep. And construct shrine of the Widowmaker in the Shrine of Cain, which we're probably not going to end up there. So, that's all fine. Let's take a look at the objectives. I don't usually do this straight away. But uh, I've decided that I kind of like getting this out of the way early in campaigns now, just so we can just set the expectations. I always get a lot of comments of, when are you going to finish this campaign? When it's obviously finished. Like, you know, I said it was finished and things. Um, people just expect me to sort of go until I tick literally every box, and that's just not happening. Um, that, it, it just, it, campaigns overstay their welcome, you know. It stops being fun when you're invincible, basically. So, uh, yeah, control at least five of the following Cathay and coastal regions. We're taking all of Cathay, probably, so that's fine. Um, occupy, loot, raise, or sack 30 different settlements. That'll probably be included within Cathay. I'm sure there are that many settlements, and that'll be the short campaign victory. So that's probably what we're going for. Outside of that, uh, wipe out all of the High Elves. So that is possible, because we do have sea lanes, so we can teleport from here to the other side of the world, and hopefully, um, you know do some of that if we deem it necessary, though 
we probably won't. But we'll see. We'll, we'll leave it as an option if this campaign is, uh, you know, on a bit of a roll. We'll see. It is off-season, so, you know, I am happy to keep playing so long as uh, you regulars are having fun with it. So, uh, you know what? Let's go straight into a battle, shall we? So we do start with a spellcaster, which is nice. We do have a sorceress of death. Love that. Also, we just have to write up, really. The mistress of magic is very choosy about who is sacrificed to her. Only those touched by sorcery may be offered. In return, she brings the wings of magic. Oh, good. I'm glad. Now let's take out Maddie Oxenford here. So our first enemies are Vampire Coast. Should be fun. Alright, so we do start with a manticore, which is kind of fun. They are feral. It is feral, so if it gets shot a bit, it is going to get upset, rampage, and dive into any old nonsense. So um, we will have to be careful with it. We've got a couple of corsairs, got a corsairs handbows, we do have some dark shards as well, and a couple of dread, st uh, dread steers. I was going to say dread spears. What's a dread steer? Is that like a really angry. Uh, 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 what a steer? It's a, it's a deer, isn't it? Is it a male deer? Is that a steer? No, it's a cow. A cow is a steer, like a bull, right? But they're called bulls, not steers. What makes a, what makes a bull a steer? I need to do some farm research. I need to be like farming simulator or something so I can, I can learn these things. Um, anyway, we also have a black arc in range, so we have our bombard abilities. And of course, we do have Loki of Felheart. I mean, he's chilling right now. He does have this amazing ability uh, for extra 24 melee defense attack, which makes him a very good duelist. He's very nice. Uh, also, Spirit Leech. I think we can use that on the Death Guard. Uh, the Depth Guard, not Death Guard. Can't speak today. See, this is what I mean. Winter is bad for me. It, it makes my brain go bad. It's just gone off. My brain's gone off, guys. Uh, so Kane's Lash, uh, you know what, let's use a proper Bombard, alright? Let's try and mess him up. We are almost certainly going to rampage the result of getting shot here, which is absolutely fine. We're getting some good damage into the uh, Depth Guard here. Oh, let's try and run away. I know, I'm such a cheeky boy. Okay, this is a little iffy. I'll just get you to run into melee, I think. Alright, let's pull you up and around. So, Depth Guard, they regenerate when they're in melee. So, I don't want to be in melee with them, basically. Uh, Feral Manticore is struggling here, but it looks like everything is getting dragged into combat, which is perfect for us. Perfect. Come on. Come on, come on. Give us some bombards. Give us some bombards. He's going to give us some bombards eventually, I'm sure. Come on, boys. Come on. There we go. The dull. Look how much damage we took. Yeah, Death Guard are no joke. They are no joke. Oh, Manticore's doing alright, actually. He's doing okay. He's doing okay. I'll take you guys off skirmish mode, because I do hate skirmish mode, probably. It's just, uh, I'm being lazy today. Alright, there's Bombard there. I can't entirely tell where the enemy are, thanks to the ludicrous amount of smoke. But there seems to be a lot in there. We'll see. Very nice. Alright, mess him up. If you can. If you can. There we go. Alright, now we got him. Now we got him. Right, let's put these on uh, guard mode so they keep shooting and they get dragged into combat. A bit of lightning. Ooh, very nice. Good, good bit of lightning. Uh, you guys probably shouldn't be shooting into there. That's fine. And now we just need to deal with Maddie Oxenford. And they are dealt with. Also, cool map. I do, uh, I do love the uh, sort of sentinel graveyards. They're very cool. Look at all of them lying in wait, just dormant. Been there so long, they're sinking into the ground. It's very cool. It kind of helps helps age this civilization somewhat, you know. I like it. 
Okay, so let's go with enslave so we can get the extra army replenishment and uh, and slaves because they give us money apparently. So they did change how slaves work since uh, Warhammer 2. They did simplify it, which I'm I'm all for. I, it was a system I could never be bothered to mess about with really. Um, even though it could be very powerful, it just it just felt like a lot of admin for such like a brutal. Um, faction, but then I don't know. I guess it's it's still thematic to have all these sort of layers of bureaucracy um, with such a sort of uh, horrible sort of fascist regime as the Dark Elves, you know. So it makes sense, but um, yeah, it was a bit boring to play. I found. So yeah, we just get income from it. We just put the amount of slaves that we can have up, and we put the amount of slaves into capacity for more money. Yay! Just you know, more better. So, uh, the Dead Flag Fleet. Not a lot going on here, but I don't really want to auto-resolve, just because I know what this game's like with auto-resolve sometimes. Um, it does say low casualties, but still, I want to keep moving. So let's fight this. Alright. Same same battle map, which is a bit of a pity. It'd be nice to see some variety. But, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We can manage. Um... That's just a deckhands mob. I guess I'll hit the gunnery mobs, I don't know. Dread spears! Cold blooded killers! Blood will flow! Forward! Yeah, you stay where you are. Dark shots! Dark elves! Alright, let's actually run you in as well. As you say. And you attack whatever, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Um, I guess I'll charge into the gunnery mobs as well over here. Oh, and we are in range. I was worried that I'd moved out of range because I didn't move my black arc. We you start with the black arc. I haven't actually bothered to go look at it yet. But, you know, whatever. Um, okay, let's re... Jigger these guys. That's not looking great, is it? I shouldn't rush him in. Oh, that rampaged him. Alright. Need to get boys. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, see, all my decisions are great. Yeah, manticores are really, 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 really shocking in auto results. If if our Azazel campaign is anything to go by, most of the campaign was literally just trying to keep Manny and Manticore alive. Like it became, it became our mission. It became our objective. By the end of the campaign, it was a bit silly. God, I love that Corsair handbows are capable in melee as well. Like, against cheap units like this, 80 armor is no joke. So they really can just, like, run in and pin enemies down. It's really nice. Uh, Alright, shoot you next. Okay, let's get Spirit Leech over there. Help the Dread Spears out a bit. Uh, honestly, don't shoot anything. I think you're only going to hurt our own guys if you do. Okay. Let's get some more magic going. I guess I'll hit you. I don't know. And I'll do a lightning on that boy. Army losses. Yes. Good. Bye bye. Bye, Vinny. Oh, oh, they're still alive. And they go. All right. Let's take this over. Uh, do you want to loot and occupy for the sake of getting some slaves out of it? Um, uh, maybe. Yeah, let's do it. I'm sure that'll help us out. Maybe. Um, does it say how much we're getting from that? I mean, building income. Uh, I think it depends on what buildings we have, right? Or does it? Let's see. Details. I have no idea. 
Yeah, I don't know. No idea. I'm not saying what's giving us money. It could be that we're not getting any money from anything. Um, puts up a capacity, puts up slaves per turn, but it does cost us some control. Uh, oh, here we go. In total amount of slaves higher than 100 at the start of a turn, we get extra money. But it does lower the amount of slaves. But that's okay, because we're way above this. So let's go with that. So we can know the artisan's house. This also gives us extra income from slaves. And growth and replenishment. And slave capacity. Okay, that might be good to get. Because our income is alright at the moment. So maybe I'll just go with the dark elf manners. Although I guess I could split things up a bit, right? Go with artisan's house over here. And, uh... Yeah, I'll go with dark elf manners here. We'll do that. Good. Dreadlord good, good, Nandoro. good. Uh, so now... So this is going to be our next target, obviously. I think it'll take a couple turns to move there. So we got some green skins up there, is it? Yeah, the Dim Suns. <laughs> like Dim Sun. Uh, also, we have Chime. Uh, so that's... Hang on, is that the same faction? Oh, that is the same faction. Okay, so that's more of these guys. So yeah, we are going to be heading a long way down here, just fighting pirates for the most part. But we are right next to the Imperial Road here, with Weijin, the capital. Um, also, north of the Bastion, they have uh, the Red Fortress and Dragon's Crossroad up here. It's pretty cool. Interesting. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. So we can send Loki down here, just to smash things. And at some point, we'll probably make a second army to start pushing into... Cathay when they inevitably declare war on us. Should be fun. We'll see how it goes. So let's level you up a bunch, because you've got a couple of level ups now. Let's give you extra speed, and I don't know whether to buff him yet. I think I might do Inspiring Presence so I can get is it Sheaf Master? That gives you yeah, Corsairs, more ammo, and um... is this Linebreaker? Oh, just the basic infantry. Uh, and Corsairs are lumped in together. That's very handy. And Dark Shard units as well for the melee defense. That's very good. We'll just go Line Breaker a bunch. Brilliant. Bring and for and you, terror. I guess Scouting would be a nice thing to get early. I do like magic items. I'll get Spirit Leech. Cool. Malevolent Lord. Okay, now we do some recruitment. So, we will want to recruit from our Admiral. That's where we get our Corsairs from initially. Um, I think I'm going to go hand bows. They're the most versatile. They're still quite good in melee, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. You know, being able to shoot or get in, you know, stuck in to combat sort of basic troops or enemy ranged units is very nice. And we'll get a couple of dread spears. Um, the silver shields on dread spears is really handy for enemy ranged, which is going to be especially handy against these jerks. Um, I could also upgrade my black arc straight away, although maybe I want better recruitment or something here instead. Um, extra replenishment rate and black art growth. Extra slaves per turn. Um, experience per turn for armies in the area. I think we'll go with uh, black art growth early. I think we'll do that early. I want to see how quickly I can get this up to uh, the gargantuan black art. So this doesn't actually affect our garrison at all, does it? You no, know, because the garrison is literally just the army. I like black arts. I think it's a fun mechanic. We'll have to be careful, though. It's very vulnerable right now. I mean, the big upkeep reduction will be handy, obviously. Um, but we will need to fill that up with an army pretty soon. But right now, I need Loki at his best. Um, so, hang on a moment. We still have another growth. We can actually um, we can build something else as well. Uh, let's go with this one. Because that'll allow Loki to make more money. Cool. All right, let's get some research going. Uh, the growth one... First, I reckon, and then probably we'll go up to Driven by Vengeance afterwards. Although income from ports is going to be handy, and extra growth is handy, we might go straight for growth. I know, we're going all in for, like, infrastructure today. Commandment available. Uh, do, do, do. Ooh, I don't know. What do we want? Income from all buildings? Income from post-battle loot faction-wide is quite a fun one, but minus 50 slaves per turn is quite a lot. Uh, growth plus 50, minus 50 slaves. And we get extra income from slaves as well. Let's do the slave production quota. Let's just smash that growth. Let's get our cities built up as quickly as possible. Because I just know that we're going to 
be upsetting everybody just by our presence here. So we are going to get attacked from a bunch of different places and we're making just a big narrow empire uh, right out of the gate. So I want to make sure we can build these tall so they can get their own defences built so we don't have to rely on, you know, having armies all over the place trying to prop everything up. Yeah, that's the hope. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Alright, so... If we capture 2,500 battle captives, we will get the chance to confederate with Caron Khan. Which is an interesting proposition, actually. Having something on a distant shore, I think, I think we might do that. I generally hate confederation, but when it's these situations, where it's like your home province and you're off on an adventure and you can just focus on that expedition, but you get the chance to continue managing, like back home, um, once things have stabilized, like I like that. I think it's an interesting um, sort of narrative to be able to start focusing on, on your home provinces too. Uh, also, it means we can maybe keep some of the High Elves at bay. It would be nice to be fighting some High Elves in this campaign. You know, maybe setting up some Black Arcs uh, over there to help aid our allies. Just uh, fight a bunch of sea battles and things. We'll see. So, two of Karankar's greater sons currently roam the world's oceans. One, the Beast Lord Rakarth, has filled the city's infamous dungeons with all manner of monstrous horrors. The other, Loki at Felhart, delivers golden idols and spectacular artifacts to the city's vaults. But Karan Kar's truest currency is neither beasts nor priceless trinklet trinklets. <laughs> What's a trinklet? It's like a tiny trinket. I mean a trinket is already small. A trinklet is like a you know, just pretty beads, things like that. Yeah, not a bracelet, just a bead. You know, a trinklet. That's, that's a word now. Yeah. So, but slaves, uh such a jolly thing. Trinklet. Ah, slavery. Oh, okay. Thanks for lowering the tone, game. Uh, were either of these two fearsome uh, Drukiai able to fill the city's slave markets in the brim, they'd be well placed to make a play for the city itself and declare themselves Drakau. Oh, and Red Blades too, huh? Ooh, okay. Let's go to Shilong. We can go to Shilong. Yeah, I mean, we're on our way there, that's fine. So Loki's famed dual swords, the Red Blades, have slain many foes with the Corsair King. However, the power imbued within them is drawn from the Ind God Gilgadresh's statue uh, is failing. Sorry. The power imbued within is failing. Uh, the only way to restore the blades to their former state is to regularly gorge them with blood. But not just any blood, for the blood of the most anguished victims will save them. For Lokir, Karan Khan is an obvious target for, uh, of conquest for these ends, also known as Slaver's Gate. It is home to many slaves living final minutes, hours or days of their pitiful lives as miserable drudges. Um, the readily available blood of these thralls, downtrodden and sacrificed, shall be more than enough to slake the red blades once again. This obviously needs to be reworded. We're going to Shilong, not you know, whatever. Remember, Immortal Empires is in beta, and there's a million things like this that they need to tweak. And Shilong might not even be the final destination for this quest. You know, they might change it somewhere else. So, we'll see. But anyway, uh, treasury, plus 5,000, we get the red blades, which sundering attacks are very nice. Uh, casualty replenishment rate, plus 10% for all armies for a couple of turns, and we get some slaves. So that's all fine. Nothing too, um, nothing too crazy. In fact, it's kind of bizarre. Let's just capture the following settlement, and then we get the red blades out of it. You know, no quest battle or anything. So that's novel. Uh, also, this is novel. Dark elf residences. Yeah, more income, please. Thank you. Is this going to break down our income at all? No, it's not. Ridiculous. Anyway, we can spend slaves as well to put up growth even further. So I could do that too. I could do that too. All we need to be is above a um, above a hundred for the extra income bonus. But let's see. I can't reach that yet. So I think I will be at a slight deficit. I do wonder how far we can get if we like don't go all in. Like I don't know how far we can get on our second turn. Because uh, I'm thinking we set up an ambush here. Although I guess I want to do some recruitment actually. I think that's probably wiser isn't it? Yeah, I think that's probably wiser. We'll go with a couple more Corsairs and uh, a couple more Dread Spears as well. 
Let's see, we're not going to ambush. Let's see, I wonder, actually, do I want to move a little closer if I'm going to be doing that then? I have a feeling this guy might try and attack us, but we should be able to deal with him. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, that'll do. So I think we built everything we can. You know, I think, uh, yeah, one more turn to get more growth. Uh, we need a couple of growth before we can upgrade the main building, which we do need to do, because I would like to be able to get some more units here. Getting some masters running around as well, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of potential. Uh, what else? Some shades would be pretty cool to get nice and early. Uh, I do love doing via warlocks. They're very flimsy, but yeah, those bound spells and things, it's, oh, they're really cool. I really like them. I do, do rate them. Okay, let's go to the next turn. I think we're done here. Hello there. Uh, so, Pyrrhic victory, high casualties, very high casualties indeed. Oh, the bloated corpses. Oh, I hate bloated corpses. So they explode, you know, they blow up, which is fun. Um, unless we can kill them first, which maybe, you know, maybe. Um, a lot of hand gunners as well, but most of it is just Dirk Hands mobs. So if we just run into combat with these guys, the guns aren't going to hit anybody, and we can just hit them with bombards and things. Um, or Dark Shards will be able to shoot over the top into them. Bloated Corpses are a bit of a worry. You know, they could wipe out a unit each, easily. Oh yeah, and, and of course the Depth Guard we need to kill as a as a priority. Which is always tough. Like, whenever you have a, an enemy unit like this, if you leave it, do its own thing, it's going to slaughter everybody. So you have to focus on it. But having to focus on that means you're dedicating a lot of resources uh, to one thing when you're already outnumbered and you kind of need to spread out everything to sort of body check everybody. So, just like one really good unit in here is a bit scary. But it's okay, we'll handle it. Alright, so... Uh, so they're attacking us. So we could... We could actually... Potentially use the terrain a bit. To sort of deny them decent line of sight. Because if they have to go right to the top of this hill to hit us, then uh, that might be good. You know? Uh, I'm going to keep our heroes out because they might need to uh, run into the. Uh, what are they called? Uh, 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 you know, chubby. chubby bombs. <laughs> That's perfect, right? Nailed it. Chubby bombs. Yes. The chubby bombs. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna try and remember what they're actually called. I know I just said what they were. The chubby bombs now. But yeah, if they have to go right to the top of the hill, they'll have no line of sight and anything in the back line. So I think this will work out. And yeah, you're staying back until the handguns can be dealt with. Um, so there's a bloated corpse. Yay. Uh, there's the depth guard. I mean, that's also a problem, though. We do kind of need to deal with the depth guard, don't we? Actually, so maybe this isn't the way to do it. Maybe we should get stuck in. Alright, let's go again. Uh, also the bloated corpse, isn't it? Not guarded, though. Alright, go deal with them. I think they have actually buffed the bloated corpses to be better against single targets. Um, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm not 100% on it. Also, I think I might just go for the Depth Guard instead of him. No, bloated corpses can do a bunch of damage. I want them dead. Okay, so let's actually shimmy you to the side. Alright, I'm going to shimmy you. Alright, go, go deal with them. Because if you can jump on these guys, you're going to be laughing. Laughing, I say. Laughing. Stop shooting him. It's very rude. Sister of the dark oh. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Could we 
Maybe get these guys in the firing line. That would be pretty great. If we get the bloated corpse on top of these guys. It seems like they're just going to die, though. So maybe not. Uh, so how's everyone else doing? Everyone else doing good? Yeah. Alright, let's just start blasting them. Uh, Alright, let's shoot them just in case. Okay, good. Alright, lightning over there. And, uh, I don't know, one of them, I suppose. Alright, let's pull you guys back. There we go. Alright. Massacre them! Run for it! A little worrying. A little bit worrying. It's alright, we're getting the back line rather well now. I just want to make sure they survive. Drakira, Drakira! Okay, keep moving. Let's not get around them. Because uh, I'm going to be choosing them with dark shards all day, so not to worry about it. Uh, and yeah, we're in the back line rather happily. They still have a lad there. He might be a bit of a problem. Let's start shooting at him. Not enjoying this whole, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a spooky gun boy thing going on. All right, we're going to hit these guys. I'm a little worried about the feral manticore. It's just the weight of numbers seems to be giving him some jip. Alright, uh, you keep chasing them. That's perfect. How are we looking over here? Fine. We're looking fine. And I'm going to hit them with a lightning bolt. Alright, Zheng Shi. No, we moved. Oh. Also, can someone go bail out our, our pet? Oh, they're running away. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's totally fine. I mean, you're still doing alright. Yeah, 114 kills, it's not bad. You guys don't have many. Wow. Yeah, you guys did not get a lot of killing done. Should just charge them into melee. We got shot less. And yeah, Manny's fine. That one's also called Manny, by the way. All, all manticles are. It gets very confusing. It's very, very confusing. Alright, let's buff you a bit. Oh, never mind. They're all dead. Alright, great victory. I'll take it. Okay, good stuff. Uh, yeah, big, big boost to our slaves. We are spending a bunch. And they are the real plunder. Alright, let's use a slave uh, diktat. Yeah, let's go with the extra growth. Slave drive. Work every single thrall to their last dying breath. Squeeze every iota of worth from their pitiful existence. Welcome to Costco. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just picked that as a random shop. I have no idea. The reputation of Costco. We don't have them here. I have no idea. But anyway, uh, welcome to Amazon. There we go. That I can say pretty self-assuredly. Uh, so, sacrifice to Cain. The victims of Cain cannot go meekly into his halls. It must be bloody-handed murder. Gotta, got to be bloody-handed murder. It can't be, like, I don't know, salty-handed... Hammy handed? Oh, it's covered in ham. Custard handed? Custard handed murder! Yeah, look, I'm sleep deprived, leave me alone. So, here we have uh, all of our rights. We can't afford any because it turns out they cost a bunch of slaves, which should have been obvious given the themes. Um, but yeah, this is fine, I guess. This might be worth getting at some point. Dark Conduit is very funny. Just just blows up a gu blows up a guy. Just a bunch of damage. You just turn your turn your team into a bomb. It's uh, really overpowered and annoying. Um, I kind of hate the AI having it. It's just quite frustrating to fight against. Because um, you know you just have to spend hours replenishing the units that got blown up. But uh, kind of like Ickit's nukes. It's like there are some mechanics that I just feel like they're they're. It's just like everything's dead, and it's annoying. You know. Anyway, whatever. Uh, yeah, so good stuff. We'll we'll check that stuff out when we can. Bring fire and terror. 
Uh, sadistic. Make him sadistic. No, I think we just want line breaker. Let's just make a cool says better. Um, that's very good actually. Plus four melee attack and defense. Very handy. And you can get. I mean, life leeching is quite nice. Um, just to get additional reserves. Doom and Darks is nice. That'll help us crumble some of the bad guys. Uh, Soul Blight might be good. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Lowering armor a bit is kind of nice. We already do a bunch of damage with our Corsair hand bows, but the armor piercing could be a bit higher, you know. Um, Hakati's Blessing is also quite nice. Yeah, let's go life leeching just because it's going to be always useful, you know. Speak. It's never not going to be something we want. Uh, also, let's move Lord you down a bit. Court. You can't, you're in the wrong Malevolent stance. Lord. For some reason, they didn't update stances for ships. Which is a bit of a pity. Uh, it's getting 145 growth at the moment, which is quite Tired nice. That's not terrible. It's not bad. That's not bad. I like it. Um, yes. Yes. I don't know. Train stuff. I'll just tell you everything. Uh, okay. So, Lokia. Hang on, so how long? One more turn and then we can upgrade it. Good. So I think we're just going to attack this now. Uh, Will Ingle. Oh, so he did have some survivors there. Strangely. Let's take Bai Chai. Uh, surprisingly difficult to attack, apparently. Interesting. Alright, well, let's do it. We can squeeze it in this episode. Uh, yeah. I'm confident. I'm confident. Okay, so, uh, so one thing I do need to be wary of, actually, is, um, keeping Manny out of trouble, because although I've been very flippant with him, he is actually a very valuable, uh, game piece for us, because none of this stuff has Siege Attacker. They've got Siege Attacker. Oh, actually, oh, hang on, do we? No, we don't. Yes, we do. Okay, good. Loki has actually got it. Uh, I remember they actually changed recently. They gave, like... I can't remember if they just did, like, a general... You know, oh, we've added Siege Attacker to a bunch of Legendary Lords. Or if they just went, all Legendary Lords have Siege Attacker. I think they just said, all Legendary Lords have Siege Attacker. I think. Recently. I forget. I don't pay that much attention to... <laughs> to patch notes, obviously. Probably should, you know. I do ostensibly play this for a living. So, you know, never said I was good at my job. Alright, let's move you lot up. Also, uh, I say this at the start of every campaign, I do attack where I land, okay? And we'll have three maps now that there's a billion different angles to attack from. I attack wherever the game puts me. Alright, so it put me in this area, so I attack this area. Um, it leads to the most variety, I find, because you always end up, every every battle, you're fighting a slightly different spot, rather than just attacking the spot which is usually the best, because there's usually a spot that is just the best to attack from. Um, and that becomes the norm, it means every siege battle becomes the same, I don't want to do that, so, yeah. So that's, that's how I do. That's how I do. So, you should be fine up there, right? No towers can attack you from here? I mean, I could just have him withdraw, actually. I think I might just do that. I mean, I could also just use him to fight things, because I guess we don't need him for Siege Attacker. So, I don't know. Stay there. We'll send him in eventually. You know, when we need him. Dark Sorceress! Dark Sorceress! Alright, well, let's just stand by the walls and just Spirit Leaves this guy over and over again. Should be fun. Is that... Oh, deck hands with... Pole arms, that's okay. I thought that was some depth guard. It does some gunnery bombers as well. They're a bit spoopy. Okay, where, are you, where do you think you're going, buddy? Where do you think you're going, Willingle? They shall know fear. No, Ingle Willing. Uh, do you want to take that gate, maybe? With, with them. We can send them in as well. Battle ready. Moving out. Advance, yeah, let's just get all the Corsairs over here, I've decided. Drew I might King. climb up here and I can shoot down into stuff. A little worried about the bombs. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just climb up here, actually. Maybe not with all of them. Alright, we're going to put one behind the spearmen. 
These three are going to climb up and they can just shoot at whatever's nearby. Ooh. I finally made up my mind. Uh, so there's a lot going on over here. Which, honestly, I can just sort of throw myself into straight away. Uh, Alright, there is a lord over here. So, Oh, no, they've run past. Oh, never mind. It's fine, I guess. You guys not going to climb down? Just going to fight them, I guess? Not sure. And... Oops. It's fell into a pit. There's a pit down there. You guys have got to watch it. It's a pit. Alright, they're just doing nothing. Which I'm fine with. Uh, could bombard them, maybe? I don't know. I guess I'll just, like, aim broadly here. None of our guys seem to be that fussed about... Loki! Didn't I tell you to attack the get... Okay, apparently not. Must have accidentally grabbed him in something. I don't know. Alright, now where are you? You're asleep. Alright, can you can you leech his spirit? His spirit needs, needs a leeching. Spirit needs a leeching. Alright, go chase them down. Actually, just go attack that. Might be the best. Okay, you aren't doing anything. Come over here, then. Right, that is getting taken down. It's going to take some time, but that's okay. Uh, you guys, let's put you on guard mode. Hopefully you'll spend more time shooting. That is often the case. Alright, let's hit them with some bombards. That should help. Get us a foothold. And... Boom. Yeah, not bad. Pretty sure he just shouted Kale. He loves... They love Kale. I love Kale. Can't get enough Kale. Okay. Uh, alright. Why are you all still up here? The pathfinding off these walls is a bit funky, isn't it? They're like, attack this wall, and they're like, okay, and they just run off over there. Like, why are you running over there? Doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's bombard them as well. It might even damage the barricade. Let's see. Well. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, great. Did, um, did 22 damage. Nice. Now he just needs how many more bombards? Like, a hundred? Eight hundred? Billion? All of them? Just, just generically all? We need all of them? Alright, go chase them down. Are we through yet? Almost. Almost. Alright, hit with all the things. Alright, excellent. And, oh, and now my phone's shouting at me. Shush. Shush phone. It's not really my phone. It's actually the person. It's actually the person making my phone do that. No Alright, killed their lord. Uh, zap them, I guess. The uh, Alright, let's head over there. Oh my god, just please attack this barricade. How many times have I tell you to attack the barricade? So far, it hasn't been attacked once. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's see if we can kill some of them. Right, they're getting dealt with. Some random gunnery mobs over there. Oh, wow, yeah, good hit. Good hit. Merciless warriors. Shenlu, eager for blood. As you say. Yeah, you can stay in there. Oh, yeah, they're going down. That's army losses, huh? Maybe not? I mean, yeah, there we go. There it is. They were just hanging on a little longer, but no, 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 we got them. All right, good stuff, guys. Good stuff. I'm proud of you. Proud of you, Mr. Loki. Hanging out with all the pole arms. He loves pole arms. Can't get enough of them. Decisive victory. So that text was uh, my partner wondering if we needed anything else from the shop. We're going to grab milk on the way home. Do we need anything else? Guys, let me know in the comments if I need anything else from the shop. All right, thanks. Uh, Armour of Fortune. Those who don the Armour of Fortune seem to have favour of Renald, able to parry the lethal blow with a lucky deflection. Uh, should be, um, uh, 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 oh god, what's his bloody name? Loki is sort of his namesake. Um, 
Oh, I can't remember his bloody name. There's, there's the elven trickster god. Loek. Loek. That, of course, is, you know, sort of a... a, a I don't know, like a word jumble of, of Loki, you know? Um, but it's all the elven tricks to God. Renald is the, the Empire one. So really this should be the album of Loic. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I'm going to loot and occupy this one as well, you know. Can't help it. It's just so lootable. Oh, for some reason I think this was... This is part of that area. That's done. I, I mean, we had a commandment. I don't know why I'm surprised. Never mind. Uh, so we're going to sort that out. Then there's uh, Chai Mei and uh, Fu Jiao, which is very onomatopoeic of what I'm going to do to all the people living there. I go, Fu Jiao, and punch them into the sea. Good times. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, sadistic eternal hatred. We're fighting against high elves. I mean, that's not that necessary for us right now. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's go line breaker. Uh, so we will be able to get like the real cool stuff when we hit level 12. We are getting close. Probably be there next episode. Um, is there anything else I want to get here? I mean, Lashmaster might be nice, so all of the monsters are better. Because I do want to get some monsters. I want some like, you know, Charybdis. Um, getting some of the like blood rack medusas and stuff would be fun too. They are interesting. Um, Shades, Dark Riders, Doomfire, Warlocks, Scourge Runner Chariots are kind of cool. I mean, Night Lord is obviously all the cold one stuff, which are way cooler. I think we do want some cold ones. That feels very appropriate for like a, you know, a, a Dark Elf raiding party. But yeah, let's go Sheaf Master. It's just, it's going to improve uh, reload time reduction for the Black Art Corsairs with hand bows. I mean, I can have a few of those. A few hand bows. Uh, oh, good. Extra main attack fighting at sea for the Lord's Army. That's fun. Pirate Hunter. Criminals can no long, uh, no more can be no more tolerated on the seas than on land. Those bloody land pirates. Those are the people who uh, in Tesco um, steal your trolley when you when you when you're weighing veg. Do you still weigh veg in Tesco? Anyway, uh, Willingle. Done. Arbor Fortune. Done. Jesha Gordoth. You know, I never said a name. Jesha Gordoth is a wild name. Absolutely wild. Let's get Doom and Darkness. I really like that. Really good for breaking enemies or crumbling them. By the cruel seas. Love a good crumble. Let's have a look. Uh, do, 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 do. No, we want nothing, actually. We want to wait one more turn so we can get that done. So, we are just going to be... Uh, not going to be any recruitment. I mean, that's it, really. That's it for the turn. And that's it for the episode. So we're going to head down here. Probably Fu Chow next? I mean, it's just like by land. Sort of the same distance. So I think we'll go to Fu Chow first. And then we'll go via the coast to Chai Mei. Although what I could actually do... Of maybe. I can't remember if you can or not. Can you attack a coastal settlement? I think you just blockade the port, don't you? Can you launch an assault? I think you can. It's been so long since I've used a black arc. So I'm just going to assume I can. I'm just going to assume I can. Worst case scenario, I'll blockade it and make him embarrassed. So yeah, we'll we'll send uh, Admiral Canuvale down there. So we'll just keep recruiting and we'll take uh, Fuchao. Um, probably not with a full stack, but with whatever it takes. I doubt there's going to be much here. It's just a minor settlement, so, you know, you won't need that many courses. And yeah, Loki can deal with that. So, all good. All good. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one, won't I? Take care, guys. Have a good one.